And I call the clerk. Government business, notice number one, Home Affairs Bill 2023. Call the Minister for Home Affairs and Minister for Cyber Security. Speaker, I present the Home Affairs Bill 2023 and the explanatory memorandum. I call the clerk. First reading, a bill for an act to be administered by the Minister for Home Affairs and for related purposes. The call to the Minister for Home Affairs and the Minister for Cyber Security. Speaker, I move that this bill be now read a second time. Speaker, the Home Affairs Bill 2023 will establish an act for the termination of the lease held by the government of the Russian Federation on a parcel of land adjacent to Parliament House located at Block 26, Section 44 of the Division of Yarralumla, Australian Capital Territory. The bill will terminate any lease, any equitable or legal right, interest, trust, restriction, obligation, mortgage, encumbrance, contract, licence or charge granted or arising under or pursuant to a relevant lease or independence on a relevant lease in respect to the specified land. Speaker, this, act this action is absolutely necessary to protect Australia's national security interests, something that this parliament and our government will never shy away from. There are not currently any diplomatic or consular premises on the land. This action does not preclude the Russian Federation from a diplomatic presence here in Canberra, which they maintain at their existing premises in Griffith, Australian Capital Territory. The termination of the lease has no impact on their Griffith site. This legislation is consistent with Australia's obligations under international law. The bill includes a provision that if, by its operation, it results in an acquisition of property within the meaning of paragraph 5131 of the Australian Constitution, the Commonwealth is liable to pay a reasonable amount of compensation. This bill demonstrates the government's continued commitment to protecting our parliament and our national security. The Australian government maintains diplomatic relations with the Russian Federation, but we will always, always act in Australia's national interest. The question is, this bill now be read a second time? And I give the call to the member for Canning. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise in support of this bill, the Home Affairs Bill of 2023, which terminates the lease over blocks, Block 26, Section 44, in the division of Yarralumla, only a stone's throw away from this House. The Coalition stands with the government on this issue, as we will always act to protect our national interest against risks posed by authoritarian powers. It was only five years ago that the former Coalition government, with bipartisan support, passed historic and world-leading espionage and foreign interference laws to protect against unprecedented levels of espionage and foreign interference. And we note that the task of preserving our sovereignty, especially our polit political sovereignty, which includes this House, is an ongoing task. Our adversaries adapt, and so must we. And Russia has not acted in good faith towards its neighbours in recent times. As the Prime Minister said this morning, it has launched an invasion of Ukraine that is both immoral and illegal, which has led to the death of deaths of thousands of innocents, and it continues its campaign there, trashing the principles of territorial and polit political sovereignty. There is a trust deficit. There is a real risk to our national interest here, and the security advice is that this lease must be terminated, and therefore we support this bill, and I commend it to the House. Mm -hmm. As leave has been granted, are there further speakers? I'll put the question. All of those opinion say aye. Against no, I think the ayes have it. And I call the clerk. Second reading, a bill for an act to be administered by the Minister for Home Affairs and for related purposes. Is leave granted for the third reading to be moved immediately? Call the member Petrie. Yes. Leave is granted. I give the call to the Minister for Home Affairs and the Minister for Cyber Security. Thank you, Speaker. I move that this bill be now read a third time. I'll put the question. All of those opinion say aye. aye. Against no. I think the ayes have it. I call the clerk. Third reading, a bill for an act to be administered by the Minister for Home Affairs and for related purposes. The President has received a message from the House of Representatives forwarding the Home Affairs Bill of 2023 for concurrence. Minister. Uh, thank you, Acting Deputy President. I move that this bill may proceed without formalities and be now read a first time. Uh, the 
question is, as moved by the Minister, those opinions say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Clerk. A bill for an act to be administered by the Minister for Home Affairs and for related purposes. Minister. I seek leave to move a motion relating to consideration of the bill. So leave granted. Leave is granted. I move that a the questions on all remaining stages of the bill be put at 11:15 a.m. and b paragraph a uh, operate as a limitation of debate under Standing Order 142. I also table a statement of reasons justifying the need for this bill to be considered during these sittings and seek leave to have the statement incorporated in your Hansard. Is leave granted? There being no objection, leave is granted. In which case I'll put the question. Those that opinions say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Minister. I move that this bill be now read a second time and I seek leave to have the second reading speech incorporated in Hansard. So leave granted. There being no objection, leave is granted. Anyone seeking the call? Senator Patterson. Uh, thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President. I'll be brief given the sensitivity of the bill today. I just want to put on the record the Coalition's uh, support for the swift passage of this bill before the parliament. It is important on sensitive national security issues like this that in the national interest we come together to resolve these issues. And this action the government uh, is taking today is consistent with uh, policies the previous government uh, put in place uh, with a similar intention. Uh, and has now become necessary as a result of legal action, uh, and the coalition is supporting the bill. Any further contributions to the bill, Minister? Do you wish to sum up? Uh, no. In the interest of expediting the passage of the bill, happy to leave it at that. In that case, the question is that the Home Affairs Bill of 2023 be read a second time. Those of their opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. I think the eyes have it. Clark. A bill for an act to be administered by the Minister for Home Affairs and for related purposes. Uh, no amendments have been circulated. Does any senator require a committee stage? Uh, if not, I shall call the minister to move the third reading. Minister. I move that the bill be read a third time. So the question is, the bill be read a third time. Those that opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Clerk. A bill for an act to be administered by the Minister for Home Affairs and for related purposes. 